Honest, Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Flying with the Foam on HJN. So, here we go again. Some more good old Nerf related action he happening here on HJN. And so, let's bring Zombie Strike back into the arena here. The arena, of course, that does in fact allow me to talk about certain things that are HJN related. And so, for this very occasion, this Zombie Strike Blaster is known as the Crosscut. And simply because. Yeah, it's got a buzzsaw on it. And this one is in fact just a pretty compact usage of having both a double barrel pistol pretty much, or just could be a small sawn off shotgun of some sort, who knows. And of course it has its own little saw blade on the side. But in all honesty, I feel like that this thing really is paying a lot of tribute to some things out there because first of all, the buzzsaw function, pretty much, it does sort of remind me of the various functionality that you might find in a lot of much, much older blasters. And I'm talking blasters that were from way back in the day, like 20 years ago or somewhere like that. Blasters like the buzzsaw and the gyro strike, which of course, they both came out way back in the day, especially during the early to mid 2000s. But here in more recent times, this is a blaster that only came out about four or five years ago, making it way more recent than any of those other blasters. But the fact that it utilizes this sort of technology of simply revving up something, that alone is already something that you might wanna at least reconsider. Because after all, that kind of technology has been something that's been kind of buried in the past, but for them to dig it back up and put it back into their newer blasters, I mean, I don't really mind it for sure. I just don't know how everybody would feel about having this sort of technology that has been adapted way back in the day. But now that it's back here, and it's certainly doing pretty well, actually, I don't really notice many people talking about this blaster. But I will say for sure that based on its actual functionality, which is just the usage of, well, being a dart blaster, it has that sort of priming rod, sort of priming technology, like on a ton of blasters. And it can hold up to two darts at a time, so... Well, that was dumb. Well, there we go. That worked this time. But anyways, I really don't know much else to say about this thing. It simply put a dart blaster and also a buzz saw. Though I probably will point out that maybe if you just look at it without the usage of the buzz saw. It does sort of appear similar to that of maybe a double-barreled shotgun pistol. It's kind of hard to tell, really, because these are, in fact, just, well, toy blasters that are centered on something that we've had for a long time. And then, of course, there's just the usage of one tactical rail on top, which doesn't really make it that much informative in contrast to everything else that I've already mentioned. If there's one thing I probably will want to quote about this thing, it's that, well, it's a blaster buzzsaw. Similar, in fact, to another Zombie Strike blaster from around that time in 2016. There was a blaster called the Brain Saw. It worked similarly, except it actually used a sort of chainsaw kind of feel to it. And this one has more of the buzzsaw feel. Obviously so, since it has a circular blade on it, but... I don't really see much else worth talking about here, or pretty much mentioning. I mean, it is certainly a usable blaster out there. 
It probably ain't a bad blaster, but I wouldn't say it's great in all seriousness. So I did give it a pretty good rating though in Aftersought because I guess I was a bit generous during that time. But at times like this, when the cold is all outside and I'm pretty much struggling to keep myself warm at all times, I guess my mood has kind of swung really far down in the dumps. So I don't really know at this point. But let's tune in for tomorrow with another edition of Flying with the Foam. And if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.